Welcome back everyone, Marco Collective Gamer 77 here, and today back to a mid-90s game released for the Neo Geo by Technos of Japan. Of course, many of you know Technos from the Double Dragon series. This is the seventh of the eleven games that carry the Double Dragon lineage. Uh, this was of course released in 1995, and someone thought thought it fit to tie it in with the Double Dragon movie, which unfortunately was not very well made. A little bit better than the Super Mario Brothers movie, but that's not saying much. Though the movie does star one of my favorite actors, Mark Dacascos. Unfortunately, again, not one of my uh, favorite movies, but it is nice to have this game. The game itself doesn't have too many tie-ins to the movie besides, of course, the character names, some of the video clips in the intro, and some stills and some of the backgrounds from the movie itself. And mostly, this game is, by the numbers, a Street Fighter 2 clone or copy from Technos, much like Voltage Fighter Gao Kaiser. Uh, Billy and Jimmy basically are the Shoto clones for this game. Fireball, Dragon Punch notwithstanding. And also they are able to turn into the super versions of themselves. Much like uh, Voltage Fighter Gao Kaiser, but this time it's actually controllable once you've actually charged up your character. Uh, most of the characters do have a fireball, some spin kicks things of that nature, the gameplay is a little tighter and a little faster than, say, Street Fighter 2 uh, and or titles at that time. The graphics are actually pretty decent, and one of the main favorite things about this game, besides the much smoother scrolling and rotation of the, sorry, the scaling and rotation of the uh, characters versus, say, some games like Art of Fighting 2, where it was kind of out of control and a little bit with Voltage Fighter Gao Kaiser is the amount of animation with the characters and the backgrounds themselves in regards to the special effects. Uh, honestly there's not a lot that tie in to the movie itself. Uh, there is a charge system where you can actually of course charge up your meter much like King of Fighters uh, or in this case if you are using Billy or Jimmy you can use a charge meter to get to your basically a Super Saiyan version of themselves which this had a little, little bit of additional damage and their special, the specials are a little bit more enhanced. Anybody familiar with the Double Dragon scene, uh, characters will of course recognize characters like Billy and Jimmy. And even a Bobo is in this game. His super, where he turns into the mutated version, uh, has looks from the movie itself. But otherwise, uh, you know, not too, uh, not too many ties to the movie as I had previously mentioned. The stages themselves on the backgrounds has a lot of destructible objects. There's also some visible gimmicks. For example, if you are, you know, juggled in the ceiling of a Boba stage, uh, a subway car will actually fall from above. Uh, also, there's also things like uh, fighting on top of the wings of an airplane as you're going through a canyon wall. So very inventive and uh, for, the, for its time back in 1995. In the Lee Brothers Dojo, you can actually see a host sparring some generic martial arts in the background before you know a challenger does jump in. The game itself does was was also ported for the PlayStation, also released in Japan. Unfortunately, being on the PlayStation, while limited to the the you know limited RAM and of course a CD format, it didn't do too bad of it wasn't too bad of a translation. The character portraits were colored with some FMV, but it did have some macro or ugly fragmenting of the video and versus the Neo Geo version. The PlayStation version did also add an overdrive mode, a little bit of a, some tiny 3D modes in as well. But overall, this was, I think, I feel one of the kind of hidden gems that you just don't get nowadays, especially since a lot of companies can't really experiment. Um, now it's just too costly to, you know, to try out different formulas, try different themes. So that is, I think, one of the reasons why I love these niche titles uh, for the Neo Geo, is that at its time in the mid '90s, uh, even though they were, you know, Street Fighter II clones, at least companies at that time were willing to take a chance and try something, albeit gameplay-wise was generic in a copy of Street Fighter II, but at least the themes, the visuals, the characters themselves, at least were you know, original, and I do enjoy that. Unfortunately, uh, besides emulation, 
or having a Neo Geo CD PlayStation version of this game, you can't really play this game. It's unfortunately not available on the Switch, uh, more than likely due to the fact that there are some licenses involved with Technos, probably SNK, and of course with the tie-in with the Double Dragon movie, which is unfortunate because this is a unfortunate, I mean, because this is a very fun title to play. Um, it's a blast to uh, kind of build up your character and use that special move to, of course, it's yeah comeback mechanic. But still, it's a lot of fun. This is definitely one of those games that you play with friends, hands down, like Voltage Fighter, Gal Kaiser, and just have a blast playing. The gameplay itself, while a Street Fighter 2 clone, is a little unique in one aspect. There's basically no specific punch and kick buttons like most of the Street Fighter 2 games. Instead, there's definitely there's four different attack bat buttons that vary the strength and some of the speed of both the punches and kicks, which all depend on basically where the characters are on the stage and which character you're using. The player characters, of course, and the opponent do have, as I mentioned, a charge meter uh, in front of their health gauge. Charge moves are executed by pressing two attack buttons instead of just one. Uh, there are also, of course, other techniques such as dashes, air guards, air throws, and even, you know, down attacks. The, as I mentioned, the characters and settings are loosely inspired by the Double Dragon movie. Um, very, very loosely. This game does have 10 characters, starting off with Billy and Jimmy Lee using the So Setsu Ken martial arts style, Billy being the faster of the two, very much like a Ken character of course. Both of them have the exact same control motions for fireballs, a hurricane style kick, and even a dragon punch. And once you do have their uh, charged uh, level fully powered up, they can transform themselves, you know, Sentai or Power Rangers style into their superhero version. You've also got Marion, from both the games and the movie itself. You've also got Obobo, strongman uh, basically employed by Shuko, the main uh, boss of the game. Burnoff, who's an a former wrestler. You've got Eddie, a kickboxer. Eamon, who's a ninja. Chen Fu, who's basically very much like Jackie Chan's uh, version of the Drunken Fist. So if you see him as far as his style and his look, very much uh, akin to Jackie Chan in the 70s first movie, The Drunken Master. So very nice little nod there. You've got Dalton, who's a street fighter, and Rebecca, who's a master of the dual tantras. When you do fight against a single player in this versus a CPU, you do fight against all 10 playable characters, even a clone of their own character uh, as well. Then afterwards, when you get closer to the end, you will face Shuku's bodyguard, Duke, and then followed by Shuku himself. And what I've heard in the console versions of the game that uh, you can actually play as both the sub-boss and the final boss as well. While there weren't many Double Dragon one-on-one -on -one fighting games, there was another one that was released for the Sega Genesis, the Super Nintendo, and even the Atari Jaguar. It was called Double Dragon The Shadow Falls, which, if any of you have played them, is horrible. So if you can, find a way to play this game instead. And of course, there is Rage of the Dragons, which is a much more updated, uh, and as far as graphics engine and gameplay versus this game. But to be honest, I'm not sure if it's nostalgia and my rose-tinted glasses. I kind of enjoy this game a bit more than Rage of the Dragons. And at the start of this video, as I mentioned, this game, of course, was released to the arcade the MVS format, the Neo Geo AES, all in 1995. Uh, Neo Geo CD was released in Japan in 1995 and in North America in 1996. The Japanese PlayStation version was released in April 1996 and actually is available in the, Japan, um, the PlayStation Network in both Japan from 2011 and North America in January of 2014. Unfortunately, as I mentioned, you can't get this title on, unfortunately, the more current and modern consoles. ACA has not released a version of this game, more than likely due to licensure, between Technos for the Double Dragon license, SNK, and of course the Double Dragon tie-in movie. 
Um, uh, so if you need to or want to play it right now, you can only play it via emulation or as I previously mentioned, owning the MVS, AES, Neo Geo CD, or the PlayStation versions of the games. Uh, thanks of course to the quick load times, the animation, and the speed, definitely recommend AES, MVS, or emulation because of that. This game is a, a fun look back. Very very niche title um, and the, the fact uh, that it's not quite a Street Fighter clone that you'd expect mainly due to the lack of specific punch and kick buttons. That said, there's really not a lot of variety when it comes to the special moves since the buttons themselves are used for various different strengths of attack. A lot of the special moves are the exact same as far as animation but with some slight differences in some of the speed range and the level of damage it, that happens when it, you actually hit your character. Uh, the graphics themselves are very lively, the strikes, the sprites themselves are large, the gameplay is fast and quick, definitely a lot of zooming and scaling, but fortunately scaled back, not quite as extreme as uh, Art of Fighting 2 or even uh, Voltage Fighter Gaokaiser, which I think is the reason why this game feels more playable. Uh, definitely not, not a lot of fan service to this game, and if you uh, if you're you know otaku, I'm pretty sure you know what the fan service means. But if you are able to play this game at home with friends, also another fun, classic, but also a niche game to play. But definitely one to somehow add to your collection. So everyone, thanks for watching. I really appreciate uh, everyone that takes their time to watch this video. Um, if you have any questions or if you wish for some other Neo Geo games that you'd like me to do an overview of or see more of, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks everyone, and like and subscribe. Till next time.